and a lot of you guys have asked. That might be a little bit personal. Oh my gosh. Good morning, guys. So I just woke up. Liam just woke up. I look a hot mess. My house looks a hot mess. Let me just show you my living room really quick. We have toys all over the place because we don't have Liam's toy box here yet. So there are toys literally just all over. Oh, and check this out. Check out my little TV on my nightstand because I have to find a TV stand. So until then, it's on a nightstand. So that's what we're working with. Liam's just playing. I have not turned on his cartoons over here because he has just been playing and I would rather him do this than sit and watch TV. So until he's no longer occupied with this, I'm gonna leave the TV off. If you see random things like this little vacuum cleaner and just things that make no sense to be in the floor, that is because I just moved some more things over here literally last night and so everything's just kind of not in its place just yet. I must say I feel very, very weird vlogging today and I'm not really sure why. I think it's one of those things where when you haven't vlogged in a while, you kind of feel like you don't know what to do. And I know that I vlogged Liam's birthday, just seems like just the other day, but I feel like that was just like, different. I don't know. I'm trying to open Liam's vitamins. So excuse me if I seem a little bit awkward and I'm trying to figure out where to stand other than just in front of the window, which I'm doing now. Here's one. Here's one. We are just going to go ahead and roll some of this stress relief or stress away on me because I cannot already today, you guys. Oh my gosh. This stuff smells so good. Oh, and I'm wearing my real life Rogers shirt today. Well, I wore it yesterday and then I slept in it. Well, Liam's in the fridge. I have to get childproof locks for this fridge because this is what he does. This is my child. Can you get out of the fridge, please, sir? Sir, do you need some breakfast? Alrighty. So he was hungry. He has got some waffles, some fruit, some milk, and he's watching PJ Masks. So now I can go make my coffee. Oh, and I have Emily on my kitchen counter. It seems like it's been getting harder and harder to keep up with everyone's videos. And I don't know if it's like just the move and all of that, uh, it must be. But like, I have been struggling to find time. And even whenever like I lay down for bed, usually that's one of the main times that I watch people's videos. And even when I lay down for bed, like I'm just so exhausted from everything that I've had to do that I may watch one and then I'm like done. I just got off the phone with my sister Heather and she is going to be stopping by and dropping off my nephew Wyatt to play with Liam because Heather has some errands she has to run today and one of the errands is going to get her hair cut which is really really hard to do with a one year old so she's going to stop by with Wyatt so that way the boys can play and I'm just going to go ahead and start you know like going through some of the questions though that you guys asked and the first one I want to answer I need I need y'all's opinion on honestly because I have no idea and a lot of you guys have asked if we're going to change or keep our channel name and I wanted to say first I am keeping my last name as Rogers because I want to keep I want to have the same last name as my son so I want me and Liam to have the same last name and I don't know what the future holds I don't know what's going to happen years down the road my last name may be different but for now if I can keep our last name the same, then I want to. So right now this, you know, channel name is accurate because we still are Rogers. But again, you never know what the future holds. So it, it makes me not know what to do about the channel name. It really, truly, I have, I don't know. And I don't want to go back to Courtney Danielle because I want the channel name to be a family like or motherhood type of channel name. I don't want it to just be my name because the channel's not all about me. So comment down below. Let me know if you guys think I should change it. Keep it the same. If you think I should change it, give me some ideas. I can even play off of real life and put something else at the end. I don't know. Give me your guys opinions because I'm horrible at making decisions. Okay guys, look at the size of these two. Wyatt is like five or six months younger than Liam and he has always been like basically like just as big as Liam. Well, obviously when he was a newborn, he wasn't, but it's so cute though because I think they're going to be like best friends forever. They're actually not even playing together right now, but I think it's hilarious how he's fully dressed and Liam <laughs> is in his backward sleeper. You guys know I basically keep my kid in his sleeper unless we go somewhere just because there's really no point or go outside, you know, because there's really no point. And if he, if I get too distracted or he goes off on his own, he still will try to take his diaper off if he's in like anything but a backward sleeper. So I just leave him in it. 
problem and crisis averted. And I wanted to show this to you guys since I put it up. Well, not this because I mean, you obviously know what this is gonna look like, but his little like clubhouse is so cute. He loves it. I think actually right now, yeah, he's got a whole bunch of toys in here, but he loves this thing. Whenever he first got in it, I wasn't, I hadn't started vlogging in this house yet. So I missed it like in the vlog for you guys, but he got in there and he was giggling like crazy. He was so excited. So he loves that thing. We just actually opened up all of the windows because it's really pretty outside. So I just opened all the windows, see what they're doing in here. They're just running around, look at it. Oh my goodness, this is the cutest like the wind's blowing oh my gosh it's a beautiful day I might try to get Liam outside at some point but right now I'm just chasing these kids around <laughs> I'm going to look for another question I believe one of you guys asked like how is our families like how do they feel about everything I'm pretty positive that was one of the questions and honestly everything's been pretty okay with families because they, like I said, it's been a long time coming and I think that our families finally realized that neither one of us have been happy for a while and so they kind of accepted it this time, honestly. It's been pretty okay with family. I mean, it's been fine. Okay, so another question was, are you still working? And I've got a lot of questions that are kind of similar to this, like, are you still working? Someone else said, are you doing something else for work besides YouTube? Um, yeah, YouTube isn't, definitely is not like enough income to just, just do YouTube. So, yeah, I am. I told you guys a while back that I was working like part time and I actually did take time off. Like, I'm not even gonna lie. Whenever all this was going down and I was moving, I have not been working during like the moving process and stuff. I actually am going back in this weekend to work and it's still kind of part time. It's a schedule that's okay for now, but Cody does have something that he's gonna be going to train for eventually and whenever he does leave to train for that I'm gonna have to switch over to a job that is more like hours where Liam can be in daycare and you know I just have to work hours like that I can't work nights and weekends I'm not gonna be able to do that here like in the next like few months so I am still going through like job hunting I am because I can't necessarily stay where I'm at right now so that answers that. I know that someone asked like, where is Liam gonna be staying with me more or Cody more or like, how's it gonna work? He's gonna be with me more. We're, we're planning it out and everything, but Cody does wanna have him a couple times a week. So he's gonna see both of us a lot, but he is gonna be with me um, more than with Cody. Someone asked, do you think the deployment allowed you to see what life would be like without your husband? And actually someone else asked me if things got bad or worse or whatever like after he came home from deployment so this is the second deployment that we went through together and also whenever we were dating we were like a long distance relationship because he was already in the navy i think that us being in this different place without him physically here is not as hard on me as it would be on the typical like wife going through a divorce because i've been apart from him so much and i have been apart with him with Liam and taking care of Liam without him here so much that that part of it is not really that shocking to me. So like if, I don't know if that's what you meant. And then as far as it getting worse after he got back from deployment or yeah, I think that's how you worded it. Um, like I said, it's been a long time coming. So we've had issues for a while, but him getting back from deployment, I don't think it was just getting back from deployment that made it worse. I think it was the fact that he's waiting on this very specific job and so he's been home 24 seven and I've only been working part time so we've both just been with each other nonstop so that has not helped with the arguing. But that's not like the only reason we've been having problems like before. How do you feel about being a single mom? Are you nervous to take it on by yourself? I know you can do it. I'm just curious how you feel about it. I know that I can do it myself. I, as far as Liam and taking care of Liam, I've practically done that by myself. But it is a little bit like nerve wracking just because more is on my shoulders, like financially and stuff like that. So that is, that does make me nervous. But I think just as soon as I get into a job where like I know the schedule is going to work with Liam and daycare and Cody and everything that's whenever I'll feel better job wise and financially wise so that's really the only hard part right now um but other than that like taking care of Liam that doesn't scare me like at all was this decision taken while he was in the army or after he came home 
We made the decision after he had been home. We made the decision pretty recently. So it was not like made while he was gone, no. Um, it kind of all spiraled since he's been home. A lot of people asked if we were changing the channel name. That's why I answered that first thing. The babies are being so, so good. They have not, like, honestly, it's easier. Liam is easier whenever there's another child here his age. It It's an easier time whenever it's not just him because I think he gets really, really bored. So, and I know he's not paying attention to Wyatt right now, but it's just something about another kid being here. He's just just so much better. Okay, so one of you guys asked me to name three things that I'm looking forward to in my new life, and I don't really know if I can name three necessarily, but I mean, I am really looking forward to being able to just like focus on me and Liam and our happiness and doing, doing what I wanna do with my life and doing what makes me happy and not really having to worry about what anyone else thinks like not happen like it's completely my decision I don't even have to have anyone else's input on it I don't know that may sound selfish but I feel like I've been very selfless for a long time and worrying about how someone else feels about everything and trying to just trying to keep other people happy like I literally have been doing nothing for the past few years but trying to keep other people happy and now I can focus on just making sure that I'm happy and that Liam's happy like obviously by other people I'm not referring to Liam of course I want him to be happy it's just that I want to take this time to figure out who I am and figure out what I want in life you know what I want not putting my wants and needs to the side and just kind of putting all the focus on another person and having their needs up here and mine way down here. That might be a little bit personal, but you know what? That's the answer to the question and that's not really three things. It's kind of all wrapped into one, but that's what I'm most excited about, honestly. I, that would be what I am looking forward to. I am a horrible vlogger today because my camera's on 6%. What? Liam does not make those high pitched noise. That is so funny. Every time Wyatt does it, I'm like, what is that? But um, I'm gonna make myself. I'm gonna make myself some more coffee and I am going to charge you guys. We'll see you in a minute. Okay, so I had to show you guys this because it's so cute. So I have Wyatt over here eating in the high chair and I've never done this with Liam before. It's so cute. He put himself in this chair, and mind you, this is a high top table, and he's just sitting here eating his lunch, you guys. I am so excited. I may start putting him here to eat his lunch because he, he climbs up in the chairs anyway. This is definitely why it's banana, but that is so cute, you guys. Like, I don't know. Like, I've just never tried to do it, so I'm really excited right now that he's actually, look at his little dot of ketchup because that encourages him to eat his chicken, but I'll give him like a dot so that way the mess is uh, minimal. And I don't know if I told you guys this, Liam is obsessed with tomatoes. So I started buying these little like cherry tomatoes and just cutting them up. He will literally, I don't like tomatoes on my sandwiches. So when I order sandwiches from restaurants, I'll leave the tomato on and he will just hold the slice of tomato and eat it. Like he's eating a cheeseburger or something. Like it's, it is so funny. And now Wyatt is throwing food on the floor and Liam's coming over here and going, uh oh, and he's picking it up and eating it. Oh my, look at <laughs> He's like, uh-oh, what are you doing, man? I'm supposed to eat it. Oh my god, okay, yep, yep. Okay, lunch is done then, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Liam's like, stop. <laughs> Say stop. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, that's enough. Heather just came and picked up Wyatt and Liam is eating lunch. I put him back in the high chair because he didn't eat very much while he was sitting at the table but that's fine. They had a ton of fun and my sister was saying that we should start doing like weekly play dates. That way Liam can get like some interaction with other kids. And I think that is a great idea. I honestly would have taken him to the park today if I could have because it's really pretty outside, but it's just way entirely too close to his nap time and I'm trying to get his nap back on schedule 
because his nap just got like way off track. Like normally he would go down for his nap between like 12 or 1 and it's gotten shifted so far to where sometimes he go doesn't go down for his nap until like 3 or 3.30 and I'm trying to get it back to normal. But I will say that since moving in here I was worried like that if he was like trying to adjust, sorry, if he was trying to adjust to it that his sleep would get messed up and stuff but it hasn't. Like he he has slept through the night like perfectly fine and everything since we've been here and i don't know if it's because this apartment's like very similar to the other one like obviously there's plenty of differences but the concept of it like the open concept and the layout and stuff is very very similar and his room i'll show you guys really quick his room looks like laid out pretty much the same as um it was at the other place so it's like the closet's over here, just like normal. And if you remember in the other room, we had his little chair and his um, sound machine. And I, the chair is still at Cody's. I need to get it. But literally, it's laid out just the same with his bed here. Windows in the same spot. And I still have to like put everything back into that little cube organizer. The only thing that's different, literally, is the floor is a different color and there's that door right there. But other than that, like his room is laid out exactly like the other one. And then of course he has like new toys in here, which probably kind of distracts him from the other differences, if that makes any sense. So I think that really he, I feel like it almost tricks him in a way. Like I know he's smart enough to probably know we're not in the same place, but I feel like it's comforting that this is as similar as possible, if that makes sense. been asleep for a couple of hours now I have just been kind of sitting in here editing this vlog that you're watching right now and eating and having snacks but I'm probably gonna go ahead and wake him up I've been trying not to let him nap for more than a couple of hours because honestly if it's quiet enough in here and if I let him he will nap for like he's he's napped one day for like four hours and I'm like you cannot do this, we do not have time for this. But I probably am gonna go ahead and end the vlog here for today. If you guys did enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you're new to our channel, don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.